Raja Tayeb coming at you from Real Broker Team Fit. As every single beginning of the month, we're bringing you the most boring video of the month, which is a monthly market update. You ask for it, we are delivering it. So as always, Queens, Nassau, Suffolk market updates. We're going to be looking at key performing indicators, active listings, sold listings, days on the market, and of course, price. Is the price going up? Is the price going down? I'll be more into a stable market. So without any further ado, the goal is to get this done under five minutes. So I'm going to fire through it. I dash her behind the scene over there. He's got the beautiful spreadsheet ready. Let's go. So Queens, county market update, single family homes. September last year, 2023, we've had 308 new properties hitting the market to 421 last September, this September. So that's a beautiful increase of 31% in inventory, which is amazing news for the buyers. You've got more homes, you've got more options to look at and to compare, really making sure you're buying the right house. Sold properties last month, I'm sorry, September 2023, 291 to 247 this year. So that's a decrease of 16%. That's a big decrease of 16%. So less people transacting this year versus the last year. Now sold prices, 1,043,000 to 1,024,000. We've got a slight decrease in values. Nothing major, guys. This is $20,000. No big deal, right? But again, it's not going up as it used to go in last three years. Now days on the market, 91,252. This is very interesting to see. So even though we've got less sales and we've got prices that are pretty much stable, decrease this particular month, it took 55% less time to get in contract. That means these buyers, when they like something, they act, right? So that's a, that's good to see. Let's hop into the multifamily market. So Queens County market update for multifamilies. Last year, 204 properties to 289 properties. This year, and again, 34% increase in inventory, which is amazing for small investors, for first time home buyers, they're looking to buy a two family, get an additional income to really help out with that mortgage payment. You've got plenty of options to look at that and compare. So properties, 146 last year to 139. Tiny, tiny 5% decrease in number of sold listings. Not really a big deal. Sold prices, million, uh, 337 to 1.277. So now we see even in the multifamily market, we've got a tiny decrease in sold prices, 5%. Again, nothing major. But again, it's definitely not going up double digits like we used to see, you know, post COVID. Now days on the market, 85 to 68, similar like in the one family market, right? Single family market. It takes less days on the market. What does it mean days on the market? This is from the point when the property is unveiled to the market to the point when the buyer and seller sign contracts. So it was sitting on the market on average 68 days versus 85 days. All right, cool. My favorite county, Nassau County. Nassau County market update, single family. New listings last year in September, 752 to 947. So again, three times in a row now we see an increase in inventory, 23% more inventory in Nassau County. Sold 783 to 737. We see the same pattern, right? 6% decrease, again, less people transacting this year. Look, is it the election? Maybe. Some people, they're on the fence. They want to see, you know, what directions are we going to go? Is it the interest rates? Look, they, they are getting better, right? So most likely it's the election because people want to see, you know, what's going to happen. And plus, obviously, the time of the year with, with, the, with the holidays and everything. Now, sold prices. However, sold prices in Nassau County, sit tight. 790 to 873. Aitash was circling it on me on the screen. That's a 10% increase in equity. So congratulations to all the homeowners in Nassau County who said yes to the, to the American dream of buying a property. You have gained on average 10% equity in your property. It might be a good time to reach out to your bank and see if you have put less than 20% down. It might be a good time for you to get rid of the nasty mortgage insurance. Now, days on the market, 46 to 42 nothing major, 9% decrease. It took four days less uh, for people to act. But again, it's all three counties. So far we see people are acting, people are making moves, right? 
Let's finish with Itashwa's favorite, Suffolk County. Like Itashwa says, you get so much more for your money, you get a bigger property, you get cheaper taxes. You just gotta be ready to commute, if you don't mind. Now, new listings, 1,040 last year, which we were thinking that's a crazy number. Guess what? This year, it's even crazier. 1,309 listings hit the market this September. That's a beautiful 23% increase in inventory. And again, buyers, you've got more options. You've got more homes to look at. It's always a good thing. Now, sold 951 to 938. That's a 1% decrease in sold listing. Not a big deal. Uh, prices, however, this is surprising. This is first time I think this year we actually see Suffolk County in one month that we measure these uh, key performing indicators decreasing in value. It's 4%. So last year we're averaging $800,000 sold prices in Suffolk County to 767,000 this year. Again, is anything major? No, it's no big deal. But again, we don't see the double digits appreciation like we see in Nassau County, right? So Nassau is definitely on fire. Uh, days on the market 59 to 46. Same thing like we've seen on all the three other reports. People do act when they see something they like. If you guys have it, go was to get it under five minutes. Am I under five minutes? Yes, I am. Done. Here you guys have it. If you want a report based on your neighborhood, your style of home, your city, shoot us a DM. We'll catch you in the next one.